Hello again guys, I had a package show up in the mail today. I wasn't exactly sure what it was, so I went ahead and started to open it up. But once I saw what was inside of it, I had to stop and open it up for you on camera. A little while back, OnePlus unveiled their brand new version of Cardboard. It's based on the Google Cardboard, but they've made some modifications to it to make it work well with the OnePlus One. And this is what showed up. As you can see here, it does say OnePlus.net on the Cardboard itself. Looks like mine may have gotten a little bit damaged in transit, although that may just be the outside wrapper. Now this was a very, very limited edition thing. It was $5 only, and that was just for the shipping. The entire product was free. All you paid for was shipping. And let's just see what you actually get in it. Now, unfortunately, I have not had a chance to try out the official Google Cardboard yet, so this is gonna be my first real cardboard style experience. And hopefully this is still in good enough shape to be usable. So there you go, you do have the OnePlus branding on it, it says never settle on it. And this has supposedly been slightly redesigned to work best with the OnePlus One. Which means, of course, it should work with just about anything. Here you see some instructions, it does show one, two, and three, how you flip everything open, and then you turn the sunshade around and stick your phone in and you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and flip this over. We'll get everything Velcroed in place appropriately. Now we have a little bit of a shade there. And it should be ready. Actually, that's that's all there is to it. That's very nice and simple. There's a little bit of a ding here. It shouldn't hopefully be too big of a deal. This appears to be the, the magnetic button that you use. When you push that button, it looks like it's actually moving something internally. Like I said, this is my first cardboard experience, so I'm not really sure what all's going on. And it looks like some of the cardboard layers here have actually come apart as well. Uh, I pushed them back together and they are sticking okay, but this was sticking out quite a bit just a second ago, but hopefully everything will be okay. So at this point, I need to go ahead and power on my OnePlus One, get the app from the OnePlus site. They sent me an email, which you can see here, with a little QR code in it where you can download the app. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so at this point, I do have the cardboard app installed on my OnePlus One. Unfortunately, the battery level is a little low, but it should be okay. So I'll go ahead and hit open on that. It says, let's get you set up. This is just the Google standard cardboard application. Now it does say on here, find this symbol on your viewer. I'm not seeing that symbol on the viewer, unfortunately. Maybe it's the one that was in the email, so I'll give that a shot. All right, my thoughts were correct. It does now say viewer identified. The cardboard app is configured for cardboard viewer 1.1. So apparently this is not obviously based on Google Cardboard 2. Oh, and you can see there while it's been sitting here, this has come back apart again. So I may have to put some glue on that to hold it together. But if I give it a little squeeze, it should stick together a little bit better, at least temporarily. But now that we've hit that, let's say done. It says here we have cardboard demos installed and a 360 video channel. So I'm gonna hit cardboard demos. Oh look, and there's a bunch of stuff going on. So I should probably go ahead and stick this in here, close this up and see what it looks like. And you can't really tell what's going on on there because the, the lenses, but you can see as, as I move it around, the gyro kind of moves the stuff on the interface and you can select stuff with this button. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a look on my eyes and see how it works. I'm really curious to see how it works with glasses specifically. Well, it works interestingly so far. Here you can see a little bit closer up what you're actually seeing inside of the cardboard. As you move it around, it does sort of uh, move around in the interface itself. So there's, for example, the tour guide, there's a tutorial, there's uh, exhibit. I couldn't get out of the exhibit without actually opening the device up and hitting the back button on it. There's the windy day demo. There's a photosphere, my videos. I'm gonna go ahead and try the windy day demo. And when you press the button, this button here, it actually just pushes down something that touches the screen. But there you go, it does look like it is still loading at this point. It'll be easier if I just go ahead and take it out of the class at this point though. There you go, you can kind of see what's going on on the screen when I look around. This is the same kind of thing you see inside of the viewer. And then when you move around, you can touch things that you're looking at. And then if you go ahead and go into the 360 degree video channel, 360 video channel it says, it has, I guess, popular 360 degree videos. I actually watched this one on YouTube last night. So I'll be interested to see what it looks like with cardboard. Ah, you hit the cardboard button. I guess when it detects that it's cardboards on it, it gives you that 360 degree view and you can look around. This is a Warcraft Skies of Azeroth trailer. All right, that does appear to be working now. So now when I look around, yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it very well from this thing, obviously, but I'm looking down on Stormwind here. And if I took it at a different angle, of course, you'd be able to see what, what the person would actually be seeing. And that actually is a really cool experience, except it keeps pausing for some reason. Doesn't appear to be terribly friendly with the, uh, the 360 video channel quite yet, but there's more things you can do with it. And obviously the main reason for this is when the OnePlus 2 launch event actually happens, there should be a way to actually view it using the OnePlus 1 or using, I guess, any device with this cardboard. So I'm really looking forward to using this some more. I'm looking forward to more of the VR 
experiences. This is my first time using any of the VR devices except for Sony's, which I used at CES last year. But this is the first time I've actually had my hands on one and been able to hold on to it longer term. So I'm gonna be giving this a more thorough test over the next few weeks, I guess. Uh, it should be another, I think, week and a half or two weeks before OnePlus actually has their event. And I may do some more content about it if you guys are interested in learning more about this or seeing more of what it's capable of. But that's going to be about all from me for today. Thanks to OnePlus for making this available at a very reasonable price. $5 ship is definitely not bad at all. I'm definitely going to have to take some super glue or something and put it down in here because this is not working out terribly well. But other than that, it's been a good first experience, I think. This button is working out pretty well, and the interface itself is very interesting. So if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comment section below. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit that like button down below if you like this video, and subscribe to receive more videos when they become available. And I will see you again next time.